Reports are saying that Tesla is calling full self-driving beta testers to warn them not to do anything dumb or FSD would be removed. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here for the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss our next Tesla story. So, Hallmark's blog um, on uh, who tweets at Hallmark's catalog on Twitter, who has been providing reliable information about Tesla, everything related to Tesla, has a new tweet which is actively being discussed on, uh, on Reddit Tesla, saying Tesla called full self-driving beta testers to warn them not to do anything dumb or the FSD would be removed from them. And FSD is more free now to control the car than before. So they called everyone who got the beta and talked to them, says whole, Mar whole, Mar whole car and Mars catalog saying, and they were like, listen, we're looking at the data and if we see you screwing up, you're gone. They're like, yeah, it's different. Don't expect it to stay in its lane like it did before speaking about Tesla uh, and also adding that it's more free to do stuff now so this is the situation and um, some people are commenting and saying that they also got 510 area code call today uh, too and uh, and they didn't answer it didn't even leave a message uh, uh, people are saying, not surprised, most of the beta testers are teens from what I can see so far. They should target specific people who handle beta testing. Like, for example, people in uh, QA or in IT or people who drive daily. This would provide the best feedback possible. If Tesla has given this FSD beta to teenagers who like to do funs on the roads and create things dangerous, this is, of course, uh, kind of terrifying. And The Verge has a story about this, which I will now quote in a moment. But uh, in some other comments, people are saying that they're hearing it's a bit choosy on when to use its blinkers too, of Tesla's FSD blinkers, and that it likes to randomly change lanes for a change of scene. And that in order to better simulate a human driver, it likes to occasionally um, weave about like it's putting on its makeup. So this means you are responsible for what the car does. So be ready any time to slap its wrist if it does something that you don't like. This is why Tesla said that they're going to emphasize security when they're releasing this beta full self-driving. People are also saying that they hope this is referring to going around parked cars and stuff when Tesla said if you do anything dumb. So they hope that this is referring to going around parked cars and stuff, not just drive, uh, drifting out of its lane uh, all willy-nilly. So it's not, um, other people are saying that it's not that it's going to do so willy-nilly, but that the car is taking much more into account rather than just trying to find lane lines and needs to be capable of of much more enabled to actually self-drive, which means if it makes a mistake, it could do anything. Open Pilot, which is a level two system, for example, heavily limits the amount of available torque on the steering wheel so that it can't turn too fast in any situation, no matter what. Tesla full self-driving vehicles need to be able to take the tightest turns so they can't do that and if it makes a serious mistake then it could be trying to make the tightest turns anywhere now the release notes if you pay attention mention that it will move around in traffic to get you in the correct and fastest lane i'm assuming it means without confirmation if you guys know about this whether it does without or with confirmation let me know in the comment section below uh, please of those of you who are in the beta test program of full self-driving. Uh, our friend Dean McManus uh, commented uh, in my previous uh, full self-driving beta video saying, this is what research and development and progress looks like. It is very impressive, but it is clear that Tesla wants to be very careful uh, which the deploy uh, with the deployment of the full self-driving because the full self-driving FSD software is handling a great many more driving tasks. 
and because it's redesigned neural network is still learning and i'm glad to see fsd progressing now about the danger and the scare the Verge has a story on full self-driving saying that using untrained consumers to validate beta level software on public roads is dangerous. Andrew Hawkins has a story published yesterday saying like this week Tesla began pushing its full self-driving update to a select group of customers and the first reactions are now beginning to roll in. Um, Torque News has done two uh, videos. You can see interesting videos how it stops in front of a walking man or how it makes a left turn and um, the software which enables drivers to use many of autopilot's advanced driver assist features on local non-highway streets is still in beta as such it requires constant monitoring while in operation so drivers have to always monitor the car or as tesla warns in its introductory language it may do the wrong thing at the worst time i mean how careful can someone be after this when tesla warns in its introductory language that the software is in beta and can may do wrong things at the road at the worst time frankly this looks kind of terrifying doesn't it not because it seems erratic or malfunctioning but because of the way it will inevitably be misused the verses and continue saying early reactions to the software update range from that was a little scary to fully throw that enthusiasm for CEO Elon Musk's willingness to let his customers beta test features that aren't ready for wide release. This willingness has helped Tesla maintain its market leader position at the forefront of electric and autonomous vehicle technology, but it also presents a huge risk to the company, especially if those early tests go wrong. So if you were Tesla, what would you do, friends? Let me know, please, in the comment section below. Now, for example, um, uh, in my previous re uh, report and also uh, reported by The Verge, a Tesla owner who goes by the handle Tesla Raj on Twitter posted a 10-minute video on YouTube uh, Thursday to uh, purpose, um, that purpose to show his experience with full self-driving. He says he used the feature while driving down a residential street with no lane markers a function that Tesla Autopilot previously was unable to do. So that's a good thing. And uh, right off the bat, there's are there are stark differences in how full self-driving beta by Tesla is presented to the driver. The visuals displayed on the instrument cluster look more like training footage from an autonomous vehicle with transparent orange boxes outlined, parked cars and other vehicles on the road, and icons that represent road signs. The car's path is depicted as blue dots uh, stretching out in front of the vehicle, as I explained in my previous video. Uh, Video and various messages pop up while you're driving that tell the Tesla driver what the car is going to do, such as stopping for traffic control in 75 feet. And also, uh, in some cases, it also requires a, um, a confirmation. Uh, now, um, for now, full self-driving is only available to Tesla owners in the company's early access beta testing program. But Elon Musk has said he expected a wide release before the end of 2020. The risk, obviously, is that Tesla's customers will ignore the company's warnings and misuse full self-driving to record uh, themselves performing uh, dangerous stents, which is on, uh, which is not a good thing to do, much like they have done for years and continue to do on a regular basis concerns the verge and um, the type of rule breaking is to be expected especially in a society where cloud chasing has become a way of life for many people so please be careful everyone please be careful if you are in the beta program test it um, with care and with responsibility uh, tesla has said autopilot should only be used by alternative drivers with both hands on the wheel but the future is designed to assist a driver and it's not foolproof that um, there have been several high profile incidents in which some drivers are engaged autopilot crashes and died which is a very sad thing to do this is why now the twitter people are re um, uh, authoritative sources are uh, reporting saying that tesla uh, has called 
full self-driving beta testers to warn them not to do anything dumb or full self-driving would be removed from their account and full self-driving of course is now more freer to control the car than before well friends let me know what your thoughts are on this this is armen harian from torquenews.com have you seen anything uh, on the roads these days by full self-driving datas that you consider kind of uh, risky behavior dangerous or scary let me know in the comment section below or what are your uh, concerns about this do you have similar concerns expressed here um, by the verge um, please subscribe to our channel for daily tesla news ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla story and i'll see you in our next report god bless you peace be with all of you and see you soon